I'm Dr. Jonathan Salo. I'm a GI cancer surgeon. If you or someone close to you is contemplating treatment for esophageal cancer, this video is intended for you. In this video, you'll learn about four different treatment categories of esophageal cancer, and we'll talk about your esophageal cancer care team. Once we've determined the stage of a tumor, we can begin to develop a treatment plan. And the stages consist of the tumor, nodes, and metastasis categories. And we have a video that talks a little bit about that. Now, the American Joint Commission on Cancer publishes a book about the staging system that gets a little bit complex. The AJCC staging system is designed for research and statistics. It consists of 13 different categories of stages for esophageal cancer. As you might imagine, it's a little bit too complex for our purposes. The purpose of these videos is that you would have enough background information in order to make a good decision that's right for you with your esophageal cancer care team about your particular tumor. We'll talk about the care team a little bit later in the video. For simplicity, we're going to talk about four different treatment categories of esophageal cancer, and we'll talk about how they're generally treated. You and your cancer care team will find the right treatment for you. In general, we're going to talk about four different categories of esophageal cancer. Superficial cancers can be frequently treated with endoscopy without the need for surgery. Early stage cancers can be treated with surgery and frequently don't need chemotherapy or radiation. Locally advanced cancers are generally treated with chemotherapy and radiation first and then surgery. Metastatic cancers are usually treated with chemotherapy alone. Superficial cancers are T1A and some T1B cancers. They can frequently be removed from inside the esophagus with an endoscope and may never need surgery. Early stage cancers are T1B and some T2 cancers. They're usually treated by surgery and may not need chemotherapy or radiation. Locally advanced tumors are T3 or node positive tumors, meaning N1 or N2 or N3. These cancers are treated with chemotherapy and radiation therapy first, which is then followed by surgery. Metastatic cancers are categorized as M1, which means the cancer is spread to other organs. These cancers are treated with chemotherapy and occasionally with radiation therapy for symptom control. So to summarize, superficial cancers can be treated with an endoscope without the need for surgery using techniques such as endoscopic mucosal resection. These tumors are generally T1A, N0, M0. This drawing represents a superficial tumor, which might be a candidate for endoscopic therapy. The tumor is T1A, and it just invades the top layer. The lymph nodes are N0, which means there's no signs of spread to the lymph nodes. This drawing shows an early stage tumor, which might be a candidate for primary surgery. Either T1B or T2, these tumors invade too far into the wall of the esophagus to be treated with just endoscopic therapy. The lymph nodes are N0, which means that there's no signs of spread to the lymph nodes. This shows a locally advanced tumor, which is either T3 or has positive nodes, meaning N1, N2, or N3. These tumors are best treated by a combination of chemotherapy and radiation first, followed by surgery. Esophageal cancer is considered metastatic if there are signs of spread to other organs, such as the lung, liver, or bone. These cancers are considered M1 and are best treated with chemotherapy. Radiation therapy is occasionally used to control symptoms, such as obstruction in the esophagus, or if spread to a bone causes pain. The care of esophageal cancer takes a whole team working together to give you the best care. Let's take a look at some different team members. The gastroenterologist works with an endoscope, which is a flexible tube that's inserted through the mouth into the esophagus. The gastroenterologist may perform one of several procedures in your care. Upper endoscopy, or EGD, examines the inside of the esophagus and the stomach and takes any biopsies if necessary. Endoscopic ultrasound, or EUS, is used in some cases to precisely determine the thickness of a tumor and its depth of invasion into the stomach or the esophagus. A gastroenterologist may also treat superficial cancers of the esophagus and stomach with endoscopic therapy, such as endoscopic mucosal resection. A diagnostic radiologist interprets the CT and the PET scans. A diagnostic radiologist may also perform biopsies under the guidance of CT or ultrasound. A medical oncologist treats cancer with chemotherapy or immunotherapy using drugs that are usually given intravenously, though can be also given by pill. A radiation therapist treats cancer with high-energy x-rays that target the tumor and the esophagus and the nearby lymph nodes. 
a surgeon performs surgery to remove the cancer in the esophagus and the nearby lymph nodes. A reconstruction of the esophagus is then performed, usually by constructing a new esophagus from a portion of the stomach. A surgeon may also place a feeding tube for nutrition before or after surgery, and may place a central venous port to assist in the administration of chemotherapy. I hope you find this video helpful as you make decisions about your treatment care. If there's topics you'd like to have us cover or you have questions, please leave a comment below. You can also subscribe to be notified of new videos.